How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. J. Charles. And we're back with Yu Gi Oh! Red Ship of Destruction. Now, uh, ooh, what's happening here? Master Merrick will decipher the hieroglyphics, but he will need time. It is best if you continue your quest. I will wait for you here and inform you of his progress. Please visit us occasionally. I'm sure that will please Master Merrick. Please give my regards to Mistress Ishizu. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna run away now. Right, I will be visiting again, and sooner than he may think. Because I've done a little research into how to get Phoenix Mode. And it's basically quite... Mm, it's not, it's like a cheat code to me. It feels like a cheat code. It's not. But basically, you have a number, you put in a terminal, and then you talk to uh, Merrick again. So, I know you need this for later duels, so I'm going to do it. It might be a bit cheeky, but believe me, you, you need to do it to beat, like, most of the characters in this game. So, this should be the code you put in. I don't know if it works yet, because I haven't tried it. This is what I found, and I just go to talk to Merrick. I'm putting this up in case any of you guys play this game. So, okay. I'm not sure if that did anything. I'm going to check now. I mean, if it didn't, at least I can just reload the game. Okay, Marek, give us the power. The power we need. There must be a secret in the hieroglyphs, a secret method for awakening the Phoenix mode. Oh. The game lied to me. No. Since you arrived, Master Marek has been chanting devoutly. He is chanting to atone for his past sins. But I ended the code. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna recheck that code. Right. Okay. I think it's something a little annoying. I did the right code, but I did it at the wrong time. That makes sense. So, talk to Shizu. It appears that Merrick is a twat. Okay, there's no time to waste. You must once again visit Paradox. He knows where Pegasus Castle is. Find the location of the castle. The castle. Castle is a castle. Castle is made of rocks. And rocks will show us the key to destiny. Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's just go to China. The winged dragon of Ra has awakened, I see. We did exactly what you said, Pops. He doesn't look old, he just looks blue. Now come on, where's Pegasus hiding? Be patient. I've been living in the mountains for generations. It isn't really a mountain, it's just a wall, but whatever. And I've become bored. Oh, do you want to play a card game? Everyone else wants to play a card game, I don't think I care anymore. It's very simple. You have to first catch me, then duel me. Okay, if you win, I'll tell you whatever you wish, but I won't be caught so easily. Whoa, ho, ho. that's a new one. Oh, no, where's he going? Really, we're playing hide and seek meets dual monsters. What's up with that guy? Who knows? Let's go catch him. Oh, this is fucking weird. Oh, who are you? You'll proceed no further without defeating me. Oh, good, we gotta warm up first. Hey, have a dragon. Huh. I'd love to see him beat this hand. I'm going to show this guy what for. Split my jam. And then, if he can defeat the jam, I shall sink him in a widespread rune. Bring it on, Mr. Nipple. I don't think I'll see you again, to be fair, but... Oh. Well, you're kind of disappointing. How many life points do you have? 3,000. Oh, well, I've won then. I'll just use my fiend's hand. And then you'll die. What do you even have, anyway? Uh, Maiden of the Moonlight. I do not know how much attack that has, but it's less than 1,500 apparently, so it can't be that harmful. And he's dead. And I get a card for it, which is very nice. Opponent's out of LP. Dual victory. Opponent's in the... Sure. Yay. Cosmo Queen. Oh, in real life, she's super rare. In fact, cost 999. She doesn't even do much. Oh, wow, she's even powerful in the game. Most impressive, you deserve a card. Take this Karibo. Oh, I get two. I don't even need the Karibo. Question mark. Your path is clear, advance. Oh, and apparate into nothingness. What the... Huh? Where are we? Went into that top building, but... Anyway, let's keep moving. Uh, hey friend, you'll proceed no vote further without defeating me. Okay, I'll just give you another dragon. 
Uh, ooh, this is a nice hand. That's a risky one. Uh, I think I'll go for the surprise attack. Do that. He'll destroy that. And then I'll just go all out. What do you have, friend? A face down. Restructure, restructure revo revolution. Try that five times when you're drunk. The opponent takes 200 damage from every card and hits her hand. 800, oh no. Ah. What's the sparks? Oh, the mortal of thunder. He is immortal. Apparently. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's a water. That'd kill me. Never mind, fine. Screw you. I'll just get my Mirage Knight out. Gimme. Give Gimme Give the ultimate power. Then I'll also put Vampire Lord in the graveyard. Then next turn he's screwed. Well, I can't see how he's going to get past a Dark Magician, a Flame Swordsman, and a Vampire Lord. So bring it on, friend. Give me all you got. Yeah, that's what I saw. Bed defend. I shall summon my Vampire Lord. Without even summoning. I don't really need to summon, to be fair. I'll just stab him with a Flame Swordsman. Yay! Stern Mystic, dead. And then attack with this Dark Magician. Dead. That was, that was actually pretty easy. Yay! One. 100 Domino. Dark Fire... Ooh! Now that's good. Uh, its breath obliterates everything instantly. And it has fireballs in its hands. That actually is pretty good. Hooray! Most impressive. You deserve a card. Take this time, wizard. Wait a minute. Yeah, question mark, whatever. Your path is clear, advance. Uh, hold on. What level's a time wizard? Ah, they're counting up by star. Okay. So, do I have to do this, like, 10 more times to get to 12 stars? Whatever. You'll proceed no further without defeating me. I'm so threatening. Sure, what have I got this time? Ooh, I might actually struggle against that. Oh, no, never mind. I've still got ultimate power. So, get Moth out. Discard my different dimension dragon. And the next turn, Shrono Death. Okay, you got Great Moth, and I got a different Dimension Dragon. That's good. And to top it off, I will summon my cosplaying furry. The Gogol One! Uh, so can I attack this and destroy it? No. Well, that's lame. Oh, good, they can destroy both my monsters. That's fine. You'll lose life points if you attack. In fact, you'll lose if you attack. So go ahead, attack my. My different dimension dragon. I dare you, you lionfish. It well, pretty much is a lionfish. It's not a lion, though. It's more like a beast. Like Beauty and the Mermaid. Pretty much. You go thought they'd fuse Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid together. Wow, I could even paralyze them with their swords and get another great moth out. I I'm just going to destroy them, though. Yes. Now, what level 3 do I get? And, to be fair, what, what card do I get? Like out of this battle. Yeah, one, 150, cool. Serengen Serengenjin, another 999. Oh, that's good. It's a shame I can't do anything with these 999s. Most impressive, you deserve a card. Take this giant star. Ooh! It's level three, but that's gonna be really good to defend with. Give me the cards, give me all the cards. I can't tell if you're actually giving them to me though, or you're just messing with my head. Well, holy crap, he actually did give me a giant soldier of stone. What's this effect? Uh, it has the power to turn the field into an arena. That could come in handy. Although I can't really put him in my deck yet because 319 is a big number. I wonder if he... Nah, I was going to say he could be more useful than a sort of revealing light. Uh, I could add him if I go with something kind of powerful. I prefer not to though, not yet. Well, let me guess, you want to duel me? I'll proceed no further. Cool. God, am I losing life points yet? Am I dying? Oh, but I might... Ah, no, wait. I've got the perfect combination. Just a matter of sort of Ravine Light and a moth in defense mode. And then, I'd like to see you try get past me. So yeah, that's pretty much how I thought it would go. Basically, use a Restructor Revolver because he loves that thing. And I am leveling up my moth. 
I like it to draw stuff. Although, I am slowly but surely losing life points. I don't like that. I'm on 4-4. Four, four. Oh, God. I need to add my um, Dying Ketchup if I'm going to stand a chance. The one advantage with this new deck is the fact I'm just drawing so many Karibos now. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's disappointing. I could probably destroy it anyway. Yes. You know, I just forgot. After all this time, I could have actually attacked. I was just too scared because I didn't know what he had out. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I will just attack with this vampire lord. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I've got a moth anyway. <laughs> it's a good thing he was in defense mode, as I might have been screwed. Might have. Sogan? Why are you transforming this field into a meta? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, wait, hang on. That'll just revive itself. And then I shall show you... I am joking. For killing my vampire lord, I am indulged to destroy you in the most fashionable way ever. Behold! The bitchy dragon, Slifer, who doesn't go stop going on about how much he gains in power. But now, you are murdered. Oh, I even got his trihorn dragon, that's nice of him. Most impressive, you deserve a card. Take this Celtic guardian. That's pretty good. Why am I questioning everything? Like, friggin', it's not that questionable. Uh, before I move on, though, I'm gonna add um, a dying Keto back to my deck, so be right back. Okay, Keto is in the house. And so is Nipple Man. All his nipples. God damn, this guy's never ending. It's actually painful now. Um, hmm. See, the thing is. I want you to what I want you guys to watch all that happens because these ultimate victories and stuff and check how far we come. But I do realise this is getting a bit repetitive now, so I think I'm just gonna keep going until we reach Paradox. I'll end the episode here. But anyway, look out for my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya!